Use both vision modes to look for clues. ID check. Failed. Time of death. About an hour. Erratic cutting pattern. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. I don't want either of them. I just need to like feel like a human being for one second. So he was saying you've never touched this, so why do you have it here? It's a psychoactive. Oh. Maybe he was selling it, or maybe he was using it, or maybe he's planning to use it on us, his father. Looks like he's a chemist of some sort. You never cared about this. The hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. I might be able to decode it later. Okay, cool. They picked up a data storage unit which was hidden inside of a thingy. Oh. Hello? anything else I can do? Um, I mean, I would turn the, so turn the vision mode back on for a second. Ah, good catch. Ah. It's a processor. Maybe follow the wires into. Is there anything? Where do they go into the other room? Hmm. Enter code. Hmm. Okay, so we got to get a four-digit code. Oh wait, we can hack it. Oh. Okay, so we have one number. Yeah. If a four digit code with a four at the end. Let's see. Oh, maybe look at the picture? Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. 2064. Oh. That's 2068. Uh, April's is the fourth month of the year. Yeah, so maybe 1304. 1304. Hmm. I... Nanophage and I. <laughs> okay. For little kids who took yeah. the nanophage. Hmm. Motherboard. Motherboard. vision. Oh, it's night vision. The lockdown triggered the apartment's auxiliary security system. My forensic vision might help me find a way to deactivate it. I need to find the woman who tried to contact the victim. She might still be in the building. Her compass was HN. So, so it goes into here. That's the oh. security panel. Oh. What the fuck do 
do we have in here? Claw marks. Let's see, did it try and do anything? No. I was hoping maybe there'd be some like markings on the pad or something. Yeah. Head over to the closet. Okay. And look inside for a book. 1984. Oh my god. Of course it's 1984. Mm-hmm. There we go. I don't know, but it's cool as hell. Downtown Inferno, tragic accident or insurgent attack? Hmm. Go to the, yeah. They know. Listen, I know you're, you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday. And today, I saw this weird guy outside my window just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough problems as it is. H.N. R.E. Complications. As far as our little mule goes, don't worry. I can manage her. She's not like us. She know She knows she's in over her head and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. J. P.S. Glad you liked the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. Oops. I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. Oh, look at the other stuff on the, yeah. It's more drugs. Refilled. Oh, that's our synchro- okay. Yeah. Well, I'm good. We're good. Okay, read- analyze it. Holographic library. Personal computer. Custom. A glitch, in, a glitch in the system. A brief history of the nanophage. I want to know more about this nanophage. What caused it? What did it do? Mm -hmm. Is our kid mad at us for being nanophaged? Oh, let's well, get out of here. I. This Go ahead. just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know it. So what were you saying? I think it mean it was like a disease. I know it was a disease, but like, how was it? But like, I want to know like, how was it made? How did it come to be? Yeah, Stuff like that. Okay. How do we... Ah. And goodbye. That was intense and uncomfortable. Interesting what lock. is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? 
Was there an outbreak? Uh, no. A malfunction, more likely. You would say that, wouldn't you? To keep us at bay until the cleaners come. Oh, God, they're coming for me. I don't want to die. Calm down. No one's... Tell me. What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh, God, they're here. The cleaners are here. Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here! Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in apartment 7? Dad, Tommy's picking on me! Shut up, snitch! I thought I told you to shut up! 7, huh? Nah. Can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch since been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! No, you! I swear, if you don't shut up this instant... Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium built. He wasn't very memorable. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Cool. So I don't know if there is a way to... To go to what? To, like, check compass ID. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. This person's richer than the other people. Come on. Come on, hacking. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, the, but I thought there was a thing, like... I probably should have looked at it sooner. There probably was a thing, and it probably flew away. I, I thought... Maybe it was a drone? I, yeah, I thought I saw it go around the corner, but I could be... Well, let's go see. This is cool. Yeah. Interesting way to save space. I like it. I like how it's like this is how people in the future would like jerry rig things together with tons well, of technology and a piece of wood. Have you ever seen those, um, like the mini houses where you can like fold everything out from the wall? Yeah. 
What's this say? Remove our implants. Whoa. Whoa. Who's that? What is this? Voices from below. Don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Fellow undesirables, if you're up to date with Chiron propaganda, you probably heard our so-called Minister of Health spout out another gem of corporate wisdom. For those of you who didn't, let me catch you up to speed. To all those who have given in to insurgent fear-mongering, I say again, there's absolutely no need for concern. The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. Loyal citizens who support responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words, bull fucking shit. Let me tell you how things really are. Unless you're one of the lucky class A fucks with a shiny set of mods, in which case you're probably not reading this, the nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year, one of which led to a small scale outbreak. Luckily we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now, you might think three cases ain't nothing to get excited about. If so, I can tell you've never been in an outbreak. For most of us cooped up in Class C districts, even a single instance is one too many. Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late. If you want, so, if you want to stay safe, look for these symptoms. One. Fever. Pay attention to even the slightest bumps in body temperature. The phage starts off slow, barely more noticeable than the flu. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to the local clinic and run a scan. Better safe than sorry. Two, implant irregularities. This is where it gets tricky. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford- Oops. Fuck. Why did it do that? Sorry. I My, my hand twitched. Uh, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance. You've probably gotten used to the odd jolt of your neural implant or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur at an increased rate, you need to check yourself. Three, erratic behavior. Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, there might be something afoot, assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you. A lack of it might. Four, juncture inflammation. Okay, so the skin at the base of your implant turns red and starts to itch. Bad news is, you might be infected. The good news is, it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries and, unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operating room alive. As long as there are no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms in yourself or anyone in your neighborhood, contact one of our clinics. If you don't know how to find us, ask around. We got eyes and ears all over C districts, so chances are we'll find you. Here's what you definitely don't want to do. One, don't panic. Chances are it's still not the phage. We've had dozens of false reports on alleged outbreaks that turn out to be nasty cases of pigeon flu or an odd implant, old implant gone haywire. Two, don't be an idiot. In the last couple of months, we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. Three, do not report it. I can't stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They're not coming to help you. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with a fine tooth comb, using the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron R&D. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out. Doesn't matter how, just make it last. You won't thank me later, but you'll regret it otherwise. Hmm. So, I think it's interesting that it's like, the people who have higher end implants are the people who might be immune to mm -hmm. whatever it is that's happening. And maybe... What I think might be happening is that the the implants are probably somehow made of nanites. And have you ever heard of a gray goo event? Mm -hmm. A gray goo event is when 
Um, a nanite is designed to replicate itself by eating whatever matter is around it mm-hmm. until eventually everything's just gray goo, as aka nanites. Mm-hmm. So maybe what the plague is is that something in the implants is glitching and then starting it to turn to nanites and like go all over the body and eat the body. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think. It sounds to me, from what I'm hearing, what possibly could be it. Like, it slowly just starts to infect the rest of the body. Mm-hmm. I do think that there's there's definitely, um, that, uh, like, the, the class, class nature of the issue cannot be ignored. Mm-hmm. That, you know... The, the newer ones are not going to have that problem, but... Yeah. The people who can't afford to have nice implants are going to be kind of messed are up. Are more vulnerable. What I'm wondering is what's causing people to want to get implants in the first place? Is it because, like, you can't get a job without an implant or, like, what? Yeah. I wonder... Interesting choice to put the washing machine above your electronics. Hold on, look at it again. What? No, the, I was looking, thinking, is that a washing machine or a dryer? But it's probably just a washing machine. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna get a flame sword. Get the flame sword! Pew, pew, pew. You did it! Whispers, whispers, whispers. Is this is all there is? I think so. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Okay. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... Never, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. to let the door open. I'm in, scammed. We did it. We hacker. Hacker man, open the door. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. Uh, a shot rings out in the dark. Michal, the young soldier next to me, immediately turns towards the wall. The intensity of his gaze sends chills down my spine. Without a second thought, he runs up to the wall, an imposing colossus of concrete and steel. He mounts it in a single leap using his state-of-the-art leg, uh, art, leg augmentations, a little gift bestowed upon our troops by the Chiron R&D department. The scout aims his rifle into the inky blackness. His cybernetic eyes scour the horizon for any signs of the enemy. Stern and resolute, his comrades hold their breath, waiting for him to say the word. What will it be this time? A sole scavenger or a full-on assault from one of the numerous raiding parties that scour this unholy land? When he finally speaks, I cannot help but shudder from the sheer intensity of what is transpiring. All quiet. All quiet on the eastern front, at least for now. Guarding the wall can be a daunting task, Michel confesses follow- the following morning, but it's also a privilege. The other soldiers gathered in the cantina and th- nod their heads in approval. Michel introduces me to his, his squad members, some of which are on their second or third tour of duty. Several firm handshakes later, the soldiers re- regale me with stories of their service, each one more breathtaking than the last. When I ask what drives them in su- to such acts of heroism, Michel lowers his head and responds in a slightly embarrassed tone of voice. I don't think anyone here considers themselves a hero. I know I don't. The way we look at it, we are all part of something much greater than ourselves, something that began with our fathers fighting in the big one. Ah, yes, the big one. Such an unassuming name for the greatest conflict of our times, one we all know as the Great Decimation, a name not to belittle, but to simplify, a desperate attempt to make sense of this unprecedented tragedy, during which many of our nation's finest gave all there was to give in defense of our way of life, nay, our very existence, from the barbaric hordes of the East. 
And yet, out of this cauldron of conflict, this baptism of fire, we have emerged victorious. And while the old world had, was engulfed in flame, in its ashes we have built our great republic. To all the heroes that gave their lives and health in the great decimation, we salute you. While the soldiers' dedication is undeniable, their service is made much more bearable due to the contributions from the Board of Defense and Chiron's top scientists. Michelle is quick to agree. If it wasn't for the corporate government, some of us would not have made it this long. Take these babies, for example, he says while affectionately patting his gl Oh, take these babies, for example, he says while affectionately patting his glistening leg. Oh, I thought he was going to, like, pat some no, babies. No, no, <laughs> I understood it as soon as I got to the next sentence. Like, it's not take take these babies. It's <laughs> yeah, take look, these look babies. Look at these babies. <laughs> I thought he was like, you know, you know, the babies we took. Take these know? take these babies that we, that we saved. Uh, <laughs> without them, I would be a cripple wasting away in some hospice, unable to serve my fellow citizens. Thanks to Chiron, I can fulfill my role in our great society, spoken like a true patriot. And let us not forget that Chiron takes care of our brave men and women on and off the field of battle. Our ongoing veteran rehabilitation initiative ensures that soldiers who are no longer able to serve can reintegrate into society so they can lead rich and fulfilling lives once their glory days are behind them. I wonder if like we're on this great war and maybe like everybody has to fight in it once they turn 18 or some shit mm. and they're all getting injured. Well, the great decimation is over. Oh. That they're talking about the new the great decimation was like the big war. They're talking about like the continued of conflict. Two agents. Helena Novak apartment 104 and Hannah Nader apartment 106. Both on the same floor. Continue what you're saying. So the Great Decimation was like the big war, and now, at least from what I understood, it's like the continued conflict. Dear Mr. Dr Drakowski, while we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifices you have made for our country, the VRI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires a dead of D of permanent B-class employment presented to our representative on an annual basis. Your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim and are therefore forced to terminate your participation in the program, effective immediately. As of today, the Veteran Pension Fund will no longer cover periodic maintenance of your cybernetic prosthetics. We will... We wish you all the best. The Veteran Repilization Initiative. This, this is, is an automated, automated message. Please do not reply. So. That's so fucked up. So basically, when. He, if, they, if, if, you're, if, you're, uh, if you're a veteran and you're poor, they don't take care of you. That's so fucked up. But, like, it also but it's, totally could happen and happens today. Like, oh, well, we can't give you benefits for helping you because you're not doing well enough. Yeah, um, well, this is, like, you know, obviously, like, the big thing with cyberpunk is, like, the, the class... Everybody's a butthead. The, well, like, the class structures that play into it. All right, this has gone long enough. Veteran or not, I don't give a crap anymore. One more message and I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother could no longer take this shit. She's sick of telling you over and over her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on. We all have. No one wants to live in the past to constantly relive a tragedy. So, for the last time, Mike Jaworski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. Have some type, someone type that into the busted ass head of yours. I don't care how you do it, just fucking remember this time. Even if it's a toss up between this and remembering when to take a dump, because the next message you send her will earn you a broken fucking job. Consider this your final warning. So it sounds like he died. The, the guy that they were the, they refused to help, he died. No, she said he's dead 18 years ago. Yeah, and they keep sending him notes oh. over and over again saying, We've refu we refuse to help you. <laughs> you again? Jesus Christ. Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. <sighs> Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know. What you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war, took one life. Sent for one of you to get into his head. You fought 
the you war? You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Rude. Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <sighs> Barreled through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. I need to get gut oil. Lockdown. Lockdown. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Wasn't me though. I don't know Trying what happened. To get it open. Rudy, the and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the damp ones. Bad the implants. Way out or oh, Rudy. Take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone. Don't lose it. What? Mm. Wonders of sometimes. Mm. Need to track manually. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. All right, I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, assistance. Unstable. I looked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, huh. Bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Uh, name? Janice. Like a... Roman god. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janice. That took 3,000 years. Yeah.